Hello everyone. We have been hearing a lot about generative AI and now assist in service now world. So I thought of creating an introduction video and maybe a series on now assist. How can we use it? What is now assist and what are the advantages of using now assist in service now? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardeep Singh and if you are liking my content please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. First of all what is now assist I know we have been hearing a lot about generative ai so generative ai is generating some content like some text images audios or videos so service now also came up with their generative ai solution which is called now assist so now assist is service now's generative ai capability where it helps you to generate some content we will see some offerings from now assist from service now in this video there are few key features which now assist offers and this is just the tip of the iceberg there are many many and lot of things which service now is doing with now assist or generative ai the first one for example is summarization so it helps you to summarize your tasks for example your incidents your changes and so on conversational exchanges so if you have used virtual agent in service now which is a chatbot experience here the virtual agent right now is very very straight forward and it follows all the workflows which you have created and it does not generate the content like you wanted to do but now with now assist it can analyze what the user is typing and it can respond automatically even if you have defined a workflow for that or not next is content creation if you want to create any emails reports or knowledge articles they can also be created by generative ai or now assist in service now the final one is my favorite and everyone's favorite code and flow generation so now assist also helps you to generate service now code and also flow designers and playbooks so these llms so behind the scenes in generative ai there are llms which are running the llm which is used here in service now is called now llm which is trained by service now on service now content only so it will help you generate the content which is related to service now we will go ahead and see some skills which we will activate during the end of the video but those skills will help you out in doing some specific type of work for example the summarization so these are the few products which are offered by service now the technology products are now assist for itsm irm itom spm sam so if you are activating these products you can use these products in the respective modules like for itsm if you activate that you can use them in for example incident or change management for irm you can use in governance risk and compliance itom spm and sam are similar for customer products they have created now assist products on csm fsm and fso for employee workflows they have created now assist for hrsd lsd and wsd and the final product is creators which i kept it alone because this is again my favorite here you can generate your own flows or playbooks by just typing a prompt we will try to see most of these products in different videos but in this video we will be covering mostly now assist for itsm i'll just show you this framework which i have taken from the service now documentation here you will see at the bottom now assist admin console so there is a console which i will just show you in a minute where you can configure the plugins or if you want to see what are the plugins or the products which are activated on your service now instance and these are then the workflows in service now and the now assist products are developed on them which i just showed you a couple of minutes ago let's jump to service now and see this now assist admin console 
I am in my service now instance and looking at the URL you would see this is a lab instance which I am using and I have signed up for this course now assist for ITSM essentials. So this is basically a service now instance which would have now assist activated already. If I click on all and I type now assist you would see now assist is already here and I was talking about this now assist admin console. This is a brand new instance you would see all these pop-ups but let's go directly into the admin console. While it is loading, so if you also want to practice now assist, you can go ahead and learn it from ServiceNow Learning website and then you will get your own ServiceNow instance to practice. So this is the best approach if your organization does not currently have now assist, you can use this approach to learn now assist. So once this console is loaded you would see this kind of pop-up welcome to now assist admin and here it will show you what are the features given by now assist so we will click on get started and here you would see plugins not installed 10 skills not started 12 so you will have to go ahead and activate these skills and plugins to start using a specific type of product of now assist if I scroll down, you would see the customer products which we have or the employee products which we have, which we discussed about in the PPT. If you keep scrolling down, you would see skill usage. So this is kind of a dashboard like how are you utilizing your now assist. We will see about this dashboard in later videos. Let's scroll up you would see these are the 10 plugins which are not installed. Let me click on this one. And here you would see now assist for ITSM is already installed which we needed and now assist for creator. So we don't have to switch on any plugin as of now. We will just go ahead and explore this ITSM. Now to use this ITSM plugin we will have to activate few skills so I will click on now assist experiences and here it will ask me which specific skill you want to turn on so I'll click on turn on here and it says now assist panel is now on I'll click on go to features and skills now here it will ask me for which particular product which skill you want to activate you can click on next and look at all these steps also or you can follow me so you would see here technology customer employee which saw in the ppt so we have similar categories of products which are available in service now so in technology we have itsm and then we will go into the incident and activate this skill as of now we will start with this very very basic and then in future videos we will look at other things also i will click on view details and if i scroll down it asks me which particular skill you want to activate so first option is incident summarization second is resolution notes generation we will start with incident summarization and i will click on activate skill which will activate this summarization skill where you would be able to summarize the incidents or the agents would be able to summarize the incidents which are active so here you would see on the left hand side we have all the steps to activate this skill and here these are the details of this skill so the name of the skill is incident summarization the product name is itsm and the llm service is now llm which we had discussed i will click on save and continue now it's asking choose input data choose the tables and fields to create prompt that will determine where to pull data from so here you would see where we have to take the data from when we are generating that summary of the incident so the 
fields which are selected are short description, description, work notes, additional comments and priority. So you would see here there is a condition of state equals to one also and these are all uneditable things. So we can't do much here. We can just go ahead and click save and continue and these would be all the input fields when the now assist is generating the summary. In other words, it will take in these fields in account while generating that summary. Now it's asking you to test a response. Here you can go ahead and select one of the incidents. Maybe I'll just select something randomly here. The incident which is ending with 58. I will also open this in the new tab so that we can see what really is in the incident which it will summarize. So I will just search for that number. Number starts with this incident number. And here it says performance problems with the email. So there was an incident raised by Bao where he is facing problems with the email. So he might be facing performance issues and there are some notes. Okay, there are no notes here. So there won't be much which will be generated. But let's go ahead and test this. I will click on run test and it will generate the summary for this incident. We will look at other incidents also where we will have more work notes. But let's start with this very very basic example. So it's generating the prompt response for the selected incident and it has brought only performance problem sending emails taking over a minute. So it has summarized this incident so if the agent looks at this incident and summarize it, he would be able to see this and quickly take action based on this summary. This will make more sense when we have a lot of work notes like 20, 30 work notes which we will try and then you will see the power of now assist. Let's click on save and continue to activate this skill. Now it's asking when do you want this skill to be available should it be always available or you can make it available at specific conditions so we will make it always available click on save and continue and it's now asking define the trigger so here you have to decide when and how this skill would be triggered i'll keep it as default as of now and click on save and continue and now it's asking where do you want to display this skill. So it's asking do you want to display it in the product that means in ITSM products. Yes we want to do that. And it's asking do you want to show it in now assist panel. That means in the SOW service operations workspace. So let's display it there as well. So we are displaying our now assist skill at both the places. I'll click on save and continue and finally we will click on activate and it has been activated. I will click on return to incident and if you remember we had opened this incident if I refresh this you would see there is a prompt on top of the screen incident summary by now assist and you can click on summarize again to summarize this incident. So the agent would come and look at this incident. He would see this summarize button here and he will click on this and it would be summarized for him. Let's go and look at other example of incidents maybe. I will click on all and maybe let's open this one which is ending with 4-5. So here we have a lot of description and short description and little bit of notes okay let's maybe look at some other incident where we have a long list of notes maybe the website okay okay so here you see there are lot of lot of work notes and it would be very very difficult for an agent to read all of these 
and then these descriptions and short descriptions and imagine that they have to look at like hundreds of incidents every day and it's very difficult to go through the work notes of all incidents so here they can click on this summarize button and this now assist will start it magic and it will show you a summary of this incident in just a few seconds here you would see now this is the issue CMS crash leading to unavailability of updated content and these are the key actions taken verified the content integrity and accuracy after C CMS restoration restored CMS to full functionality analyze CMS and so on so it has summarized the whole work notes into few pointers and then the agent can look at these notes and take the further action. Now let's go and see this incident summarization in service operation workspace also because this is the place where most of the agents would be working and see how it works there. So I have opened service operation workspace and again we will open a random incident here and we will see what happens. So I will click on list and we will go to open incidents and maybe we let's open this ms office is not updating please help so for example the agent opened this incident which was assigned to him so this is the incident and these are the work notes for this particular incident so there are a lot of notes again and here you would see the similar type of button summarize button here just click on this summarize button and here again the incident would be summarized for you in just a few seconds. So this is the issue. These are the key actions taken. So there are so many notes. It has summarized that remote access and examining error logs, quick repair, closing out MS Office programs and addressing installation file issues. So these were the actions taken in the work notes. So you see how powerful this now assist is where it's summarizing the incidents we have another skill for change also which we will see in the next video but you can see now the power of now assist we have covered the basics of now assist here what is now assist we also saw the now assist admin panel where we saw how many plugins were activated so in this particular instance itsm was already installed so we didn't have to install but we activated a skill for incident summarization we will go ahead and see more things and explore much more in the upcoming videos so stay tuned with me and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button thanks for watching the video